Hello, this is Mr. Nerdvolution from Nerdvolution.com, deep inside the catacombs of the Bat Cave. And today we're taking a look at a different toy than usual. We're not doing an action figure review today. No, sir. Today we are doing a plush review. And who do we have to do this review? How about the Ugly Doll, Batman, and Robin? Ugly Doll just got the license recently to make a whole bunch of DC characters, and today we're going to look at a few of the larger size ones, which in this case would be, as I mentioned, Batman over here, Robin over here. So without further ado, let's get to work. Ugly Doll's new DC Comics line comes in a few different sizes, but today we're looking at the 11 inch version. In particular, Ice Bat as Batman and Wedgehead as Robin. This line also includes Babo as Superman, Trey as Wonder Woman, and a pink and purple version of Batman, also portrayed by Ice Bat. Each Ugly Doll comes with their traditional ear tag, which explains their stories. The classic Ugly Dolls come with an origin story, and this time, we skip that and head right into the explanation of why each of these characters is wearing a superhero costume. But, spoiler alert, I'm not going to give that away. Ice Bat is one of my favorite Ugly Dolls of all time, and he is still one of the company's best-selling characters, so it makes perfect sense to turn him into the Dark Knight, and in this case, a more modern-looking Dark Knight Batman. Ice Batman is super cuddly and has some fine stitching when it comes to his belt, cape, and logo. Despite obviously being made by machines, the plushies still have a handmade feel and look to them. Wedgehead as Robin has more of the classic Robin look, with an outfit more reminiscent of his appearance in the 1960s TV show. His mask is not removable, but it is a separate piece of material that can be moved a little bit, although it cannot be completely taken off his face. I especially love Robin's feet, and frankly, Robin's choice of footwear looks a lot better on an ugly doll than it does in the comics. Since these are plushies, there is not really any articulation joints to speak of, but they are pretty bendable, while maintaining their firmness and the static pose. The only accessory to speak of would be each ugly doll's cape, which is sewn onto their backs, uh, but it does flow quite nicely in the wind. Overall, the Ugly Doll DC Comics line is a fun and adorable product for both adults and kids, and priced to move at around $20 per plush in this size. This is a perfect marriage between two things that would not normally go together, and I look forward to seeing what other Ugly Doll and DC mashups we will get in the near future. If you have any idea for crossovers that you want to see, feel free to leave those in the comments section too. And maybe someone from Ugly Doll will take a look and hear our requests. All right, nerds and nerdettes, thanks very much for watching this video. Make sure you guys like the video here on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to visit nerdvolution.com for more videos, as well as written reviews of toys, comics, action figures, books, and whatever else I can get my greedy little hands on. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.